YouTubers, welcome to our Combo's travel videos. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the wild mushroom harvesting and cooking in Kerala. Kerala is, a, is an Indian state, a famous backwater des tourist destination located in South India on the Malabar coast. These wild mushrooms appear to be monsoon in Kerala. In the local language, it's called Ukkun, and in scientific terms, they're known as Termitomyces microcarpus. It's a fungus that grows on the top of the termite mounds. These tiny fungi are the main food source for the termites who enjoy the symbiosis with the fungi. Thousands of tiny mushrooms sprouts from the ground put on a spectacular display of white color during monsoon. The termite deposits the seed and a special kind of mud on the outside of the termite mounds, making it an ideal habitat for the fungi to grow. Once they come out, the growth will be all within one or two days, depending upon the level of rain and moisture. If the rain is high, uh, the growth will be cook off and then they will root. Uh, local people harvest it by plucking it from the ground. You can still see the termites moving around and still working on the mud. Cleaning is the hardest part as they have to cut the lower end of the tiny thousands of tiny mushrooms. Even after cutting the lower end, the mushrooms might contain some more uh, dirt, particles, and debris. So they wash it four to five times to remove all the dirt and debris. And then they add some turmeric. I leave it for half an hour. The turmeric helps to detect and remove toxins if there are any. Once that process is done, uh, we can move into the cooking part. For the cooking part, you need some masala. And the masala includes uh, garlic, fennel seeds, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, shallots, green chili, curry leaves and shredded coconut. Grind it together and make them into a good paste. In here they're using a traditional grinding stone called adagale. Kellis claims that grinding stone increases the taste of the curry. Once the paste is ready, heat the mushroom for 10 to 15 minutes and then add the paste and keep it for 3 to 5 minutes. Once it's done, you can garnish it with uh, fried curry leaves and mustard seeds. Please have it with rice and rakam. It's a nice combination. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe.